she made some uh, scrambled eggs. I think she used virgin oil to do it. What's wrong with virgin? Virgin oil and scrambled eggs doesn't taste that good. It's like the I didn't hear that. You're gonna have to say it again. The oil absorbs into the eggs. Oh. You were lagging so hard there. You started to say it and then there was like a huge gap. <laughs> Uh, did you look at my uh, replay yet? You don't have to download, just look at the stats and whatnot. Oh, this, the replay is pretty good. I copied it and I tried playing it last night, but when I opened it in the web browser, it sat there and freaking uh, spooled for like ever. And I was like, fuck this, I'm going to. Did you leave it spooling or did you just close the window? I close the window. Is it doing it again? I haven't tried to load it since I've been up. I only woke up. Well, then again, that's kind of what happens when you stay up till six in the morning. Yep, it loaded for me. Do I have to have World of Tanks installed in order to watch it? Yes, but you don't need to watch it. I did over 8,000 damage in total between spot and damage and damage I did. I look at the team damages. God, that fucking Patton should die like five times over. I end up having to fucking kill him. Oh, sweet morning nectar. Coffee. Yes. I want to design a machine that has water supply already built to it. You put the can of coffee in the top and it like cuts a hole in the bottom so that way all the coffee like funnels out. Or maybe like you just open up a whole can of coffee and you pour it in the funnel. And every morning at the same time it turns on, fills up with water, and uh, starts brewing its Screw that. Put coffee bean in that way. It's a fresh grind every time. Yeah, I could do that too. I'm sure it already exists. I don't know. They had a lot of people who had designed their own curtain opener machines, but nobody quite had one that was fully automated. You should patent that. Maybe, like, uh hotels around the world would see this as a, a brilliant idea. Because with the curtains open in the wintertime, it's going to... Of course, at nighttime, you don't want everybody to see... So they open and shut on their own. Think about how much they would save in heating every year. And Peppy come over to say... Everybody say hi to Peppy. Peppy. Meow, Peppy. Like, nah, I'll just purr. That's effort. Can you hear? Kinda. She's really. She's like, brrrr. Yeah, I know the, uh, like Starbucks, they have their own machine that 
you hit a button, it drops coffee beans down, it grinds them, cooks them, and then it washes them out. They stole my idea. But it's not automated. They have to hit. They have to hit the button. What not? It's their uh, cappuccino machine. There's still room for him on their piece of shit. Oh, Peppy's over here because the dog is in her bed. She's like, I want to sleep. But that son of a bitch took my spot. Now there's nowhere good to sleep. Uh, I'm trying to find it and all I'm finding is the cappuccino machine. I see a money making experience. Yeah, do you realize how big and bulky that's going to be? Where you see a pain in the ass, I see potential. Potential laziness. Yes, but think about other people who are just as lazy as I am. They're willing to fork over their money in order to be as lazy as... <laughs> It's genius. Just like the guy who made the fucking fork on a with a little motor in it. That, for all those assholes who like to eat spaghetti, but they don't like to sit there and twist their fork in order to get it. He sold it. He patented it. <laughs> he sold it. Like, dude, you, you, that's like the laziest invention ever. Yeah, well, it, uh, <laughs> it's, it... There was the one guy who made a little fan that you attach to the, to a bowl of ramen noodles or whatever. So when you cook them and they're way too hot, rather than sit there and blow on them yourself, the fan will cool them for you. You just stick your fork in and pull out the noodles, hold it in front of the fan and... There is great money potential in lazy people. The rock pet. On the pet rock. <laughs> Started out as a joke. Guy's a billionaire. Oh, uh. Are you too lazy to hold your own beer? Design a hat where you can put your beers in your head <laughs> and have a little straw that feeds. That's so incredibly stupid. Who would buy that? Dude, he's still selling that. The uh, the company that makes toilet. Pa this is this is the company that produces toilet paper with people's faces. So, you can buy a packet of Obama toilet So you can wipe your ass with the president. The guy literally got on TV and he said, It is more profitable to sell toilet paper that you cannot use than it is to sell toilet paper that you can use.
Private chat from a wild penguin slap. <laughs> Private chat from a wild cool. penguin slap. <laughs> That's pretty Not on a timer though. <laughs> I'm thinking it can be programmed. Yes, but what if I designed a cheaper model? Because this one's only a thousand six hundred That's what's so nice about my curtain machine. The materials to make it is less than twenty dollars. So if I turned around and resold them... It could potentially them, hold like... It could potentially hold like five pots of coffee in that thing. Who's going to drink five pots of coffee? What if you're one you. person? No, I, there's no way. I barely drink one pot a day. I wake up and I slowly drink it until I go to work. But like, my curtain machine cost me less than $20 to make, and when you get into actual manufacturing process, it becomes even cheaper because you're buying it in bulk. You can sell one unit for 40 bucks, and, you know, have instructions for how to install it. Now, $40 per everybody who wants one, that adds... Or, you can go get some fancy model that has a little push button, and it walks over there and it opens and shuts the curtains for you. But that one's gonna cost you a fortune. It's gonna be like six, seven hundred dollars. And it's gonna be friggin' crazy big. So basically what you would need is a timer to, that turns water on and off within a certain time, within a set time frame to fill the pot or the reservoir. Which would basically work out kind of like a toilet reservoir. When the water gets down so low, it fills it back up. Um, the coffee grinder and whatnot, that would... It might be cheaper to go with the, pre with the coffee that's already ground, but being sitting there so long, that coffee's gonna, coffee may go stale before you use it all. Yeah, but if it's in a sealed container... Like, the funnel you put it in has a lid, so that way it's not open to air. What if, rather than having a device that turns on and, you know, fills up the reservoir, what if it's a small trickle of water that constantly fills that reservoir? And when it doesn't, you know, like those, uh, those dog waterers that have, uh, it's just a tank and uh, as the dog drinks the water out of the bowl it slowly fills it back basically you're using the lack of air to fill the thing so it's constantly trickling water and when it's full it'll stop on its own then when it brews coffee of course it uses all the water out of that reservoir and it stops then that trickle of water slowly fills it up throughout the day it might take it an hour or two hours to fill it all the way back up but it's you're not going to use it again until the next morning anyways you still need, need something to stop the trickle no you wouldn't because the trickle is so slow it doesn't actually have an effect on the coffee pot the coffee pot will stop brewing and then it will sit there and just keep the no, coffee in. no after it's brewed What's going to make it stop refilling the reservoir? You want it to refill the reservoir. Yeah, but once the reservoir is full, what's going to stop it from keeping putting water into it? No, it... You know the dog water as I'm talking about, right? It's just a tank of water and a bowl, and... When the water in the bowl gets low enough, there becomes air to sink into that giant tank and allows more water to come out yeah once the air once the water is above the thing it can't suck the air back in it's trying to suck water back in yes so have the same thing but on a really small trickle of a hose or whatever that's just a really minute small so once it 
starts brewing and it starts drawing coffee out of or water out of that tank, it uh, it starts filling it up again because there is a lack of water. And of course, the coffee machine finishes its brewing and then it sits there and just keeps the current coffee that it just created warm. The tank will slowly start filling back up until it gets all the way to the top and then it stops itself because it can't fill it up any. I don't know, that would be kind of hard to pull off because if you have a water line coming in from the wall or whatever, it's going to constantly be trying to push. But thanks for pissing all over. <laughs> By the way, I know you told me to warn you in advance, but I've been recording this whole... Eh, could have been worse. Yeah, you could have told him about what you did when you woke up. I just picked up the full channeler set. I look ridiculous. There is a weapon. Since this weapon is freaking almost broken, I'm gonna kill this guy and take his weapon. Whew! That was slow. But now I got the Enchanted Falcon. Falcon Punch! Okay. I'm pretty much the best spot I need to be in order to finish off Seath. Uh, this is like the most boring boss fight in the game. Simply because... He sucks. And if I ran fast enough, hopefully one of those little shell people won't make it in this room. That's pretty. Hey, dude. He kind of sounds like Oscar, too. Run around the side. Oh shit. That is. Yeah. That is not gonna work. I'm going to get out of this. Hey, he's actually backing out. That's nice. I need a. Quick homeward bone. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, shit. Problem. That's right, back off. Hey, check this out. There's a uh, crystal set over here that will make me more immune to his crystal abilities. Blam. Alright, I'm gonna break this and then we're gonna play Ring Around the Rosie with Seath. I'm gonna stab him in the tentacle and he's gonna Pretend to fight me.
Whoa, 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 whoa. That's new. I've never seen him do that. Ow. That hurt. Thirty minutes of walking in a circle later. 